This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus. We are at King's Great Buys Plus with wonderful Susanna yes. Dickman and Ron and are always so happy to be with I Susanna because she surprises us with her food and this is going to be a dish just like that. I think the biggest thing about you, Susanna, is the fact that yes, you eat healthy mm -hmm. and you're making us eat healthy, mm -hmm. but you do it in a way that it tastes great. Exactly. And it's fun. That's the thing. And that's my goal yeah. to show you that you can eat not your typical nachos, right. <laughs> what we're going to make today, your name. and make them with fiber and vitamins and nutrients. But All these right. look like your typical nachos. Well, though. these do. So the chips. yellow ones are your typical tortilla chips. Gotcha. Okay. They're an organic brand that I buy. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, and I don't know if the camera can see these little guys, what I did to make these more healthy was I just bought some corn tortillas, okay. cut them up in triangles, put a little sprinkle of salt, put them in my oven, 350 for maybe five, six minutes. Keep right. an eye on them. They go from cooked to burnt. <laughs> to burnt really to fast, burnt. I know. Yeah. So, and so these are healthy. They're okay. just a corn tortilla. So, so it's so easy too, so they're, they're baked. Yes, oh, yeah, and they're not fried difference. in oil. Right. But That's the huge. key to this is the ingredients that we're going to add. Right. Okay. And so good. the first thing we have this. is something you may not think about. Do you know what that is? Uh, it looks like some type of couscous, but Close. not couscous. Is Close. Right? It's quinoa. Quinoa. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to give you a spoon, Ron. So this you is can the quinoa try meat. You want to try some? I will and try some. It I will do that. And would you like to try of some? Of course That's I would. You know, I love there quinoa. You go. I love to put this on my salad. Now it's got a little zing it to it. It might be too spicy for you. This it does have some spice. a fine time to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I just thought about that. It's I'm okay. sorry. This has a little bit of chili powder mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cumin, and so this is going to be one of the bases. Okay. Oh, well, I like I'm it. Putting this on, Bron, do you want to put the black beans? Let's do it. Yes, I will. And I going. am going to put cabbage, red cabbage, Beautiful. which is something typical you might not see on a nacho. No, you wouldn't. Now, you and really want to cover this up, right? I really want to cover this up because, you know, the, the quinoa is taking place of our meat. Right. But, it's, but, but beans have good protein, too, and these oh, black beans, I love do. black beans. And I do quinoa too. has yeah. the highest amount of protein. Does and look really? how pretty yeah. it is. Look how pretty Isn't that it beautiful? is. It's beautiful. And I also have some black I olives see that. in there. I see that. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some corn. Let's do it. And if, you know, typically at home, I would stick this in the oven. I would put my cheese sauce on. Now and which my is? cheese sauce is made with sesame seeds. Oh, okay. My so son not. has a cashew allergy, so I do make some with cashews. Good. Right. But right. this one is... is um, well, I love sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. So well, I'm just going to plop some of this on. Okay. And then we have two more things to add. Ron, if Little you want to add some salsa. All right, let's put some salsa. And this is... Now, this is a cashew sour cream. Okay. So, okay, and what is this? This is um, cashew and... It's cashews and some lemon juice and apple cider vinegar and a little bit of salt. You would be so surprised how much you will enjoy a nut butter <laughs> or a nut sauce. <laughs> yes, yes. I know. They're it really so good. good. Okay, we Now, got... look at this plate. I mean... You know, if I told you this was healthy and then I showed you this, would you think that it was? No, it looks like it everything we No, would. it looks like something I would find right. in a pub. You know right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, go ahead and... Now, would you nuke this then, or how, I, how would you... Put I would... Typically, I would like to put it in the oven, 300, okay. 350, for about 10 minutes, just okay, to get it, the cheese a little warm right, and things kind of like that. Right, kind Yeah, mm -hmm. but... That's awesome. That really is good. Great. I'll make sure I got both of those yeah, offices there, too. Yes. See, yeah. Danny, you did it. I mean, that is just amazing. And that, awesome. That uh, sour cream is money. Money, <laughs> money. You got it. Cashews are just the best thing for cheese. And the sunflower seed. Cashews. Now, the, the queso is a little bit hot, but... It's good, though. It's if you good. Want, if you want to learn more about cooking like this with Susanna, eat plants, be well, food for life chef. She's always doing classes. You'll be happy you did. Thank you, dear. Oh, Thanks, thank Susanna. You, you rock as always. We'll be back healthier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> this portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus.